Over 2,000 years ago, the great philosopher and mathematician Archimedes first described 13 greedy shapes, but only one of those shapes is filled with 38 sides of points and prizes for kids and puppets, and that's the Snub Cube! Welcome to Snub Show, where kids face off against puppets for non-existent prizes, Today's puppet and human child contestants are Shayla and Rocco. They'll play three roles head to head. And now, your host and that sock around the clock, Herschel Nepstein. Hi there. How's everybody doing? Thank you, Johnny P. You just had the comment. Welcome to Snubcube. Thank you for tuning in today with each role of the Mysterious. Series Q comes one of eight challenge triangles or the rare and elusive Squatch Squares. All right, okay, who we got here today, Johnny? Well, Herschel Raccoon Ranch and the inventor of the easy open trash bin. Say hello to Rocco Ra Raccoon. Hi there, Hi Rocco. There. Welcome oh. to SnubCube. How you doing? Hi, I'm uh, good and happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. It's nice to see you out during the day. Not too common for you guys, is it? Yes, I don't like to come out during the day, but I do it for you. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, just so much love here on the Snub Cube today. I can't, can't get enough of here today, Herschel. I mean, uh, who are you? Johnny, you're Johnny. I'm Herschel. Got it. Hi, Johnny. Who else is here? She's 11 years old and lives in Ann Arbor again. Let's all welcome Shayla. Hi there, Shayla. How you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Tell me something. Do you have, have any a dog, named Coco. a dog named what? Coco. Coco. That's very good. Well, maybe Rocco and Coco can get into a fight later. All right. So <laughs> here we are on. Uh, so we're going to spin the snub cube before we do anything else. Shayla, do you know how to spin the snub cube? I do not know how to spin the snub cube. Okay. All you got to do is say the magic words, which is roll that snub cube. Okay. Go for it. Roll that snub cube. Okay, here it goes. And let's see. It looks like you landed on Y. And Y stands for yada yada something about books. That's amazing. So do you like books? I do. Yeah, well, we like books too at the library. We like them a lot. So it's going to ask you about a couple different authors. Okay, because authors write books. And without authors, we wouldn't have books. But although with books, we might still not have authors. Who knows? Anyway, so here are the authors we're talking about today. Reina Telgemi, to R.J. Palacio. Number three, The Motley Crew of We. Weirdos books. And number four, Saul Bellow, an, a, a wonderful and much deeply respected uh, American author. So I'm going to ask you some questions about this. Each one of these questions can be answered by one and only one of these. Okay. So here comes your first question. Which of these authors most famous book was first published in 1953 and is about a guy named Augie growing up in a big city? Um... I think that it's R.J. Policia. All right. So, R.J., pretty good guess. But you know what? The answer is actually Saul Bellow because his most famous book is called uh, The Adventures of Augie March. And that came out. In 19, not come out in 1953. I know the 19th century or the, eight, uh, the 20th century is very confusing, Zoomers. But in this case, the answer was Saul Bellow. You're wrong. Nice try. We're going to move on to the next question. Okay. Oh, by the way, so tell me, Rocco, have you read The Adventures of Augie March by Saul uh, Bellow? Not yet, but maybe if they make it into a movie, I'll watch it. Ah, well, I wouldn't hold your breath. You know, I will tell you that Saul Bellow always reminds me of opera because whenever I go to the opera, Saul Bellow to me. <laughs> All right, yeah. Anyway, move on. Next question. Which of these authors' most famous book was first published in 2012 and is about a guy named Augie growing up in a big city? If the last one wasn't R.J. Palacio, then I think this one is. Well, you know what? You're absolutely right. That's amazing. Good job. Joffy, about the adventures of the boy named Doggy. Tell me, Rocco, have you read Wonder? Oh, that one I read. 
All right, excellent. Okay, let's move on to the next question. So you're one, and you just got to get three of these right to move on. Which of these authors' most famous books all have a single word in their title? Um, Raina Telgemeier. Raina Tel. Oh, is that how you say? Hey, that Raina, you're absolutely right because she has. Uh, drama sisters who smile their guts. So there you go. All right. Raina Telgemeier. That's right. You're two for three. You're doing very well. All right. Here comes our last question. Oh, tell me, Rocco, have you read any of those books? No, Telgemeier? I've read them all. I'm, I'm hoping her next book is called Raccoon. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah. All right. So here's your last question. Who is the mysterious power family at the center of the of the remaining 39 clues books? Um, the Cahill family. The Cahill family. That, that's right. A hail full of cats and they, they all got it. That's right. You got it absolutely right. That's amazing. Good job. What a way to go. So, uh, Johnny, tell them what, is, what they won. Well, so both contestants will be taking home their very own sloozle. Is it a scarf? A snood? A sluice? A nozzle? We may never know. It's a sluzzle, as seen only on 8ADL.tv. And we'll be right back with more Snubcube after this. Welcome back to Snubcube, where Shayla is in one win and 1,100 points. Take it away, Hershey. All right, thank you. Thank you, Jeff, to that break. And now, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who's there? Who do we have? Here? Wait. That does sure that is a different kid. That's, wait, you're not Shayla. Are you Shayla? No. Who are you? My name's Amaya, and I'm nine years old. Your name's Amaya. What, what happened? What happened to Shayla? Words in time? No, it was my turn, so... Oh. Oh, all right, that's great. So here you are. Welcome, Amaya. Uh, I'm afraid we did not have time to update the title card, so it'll just say Shayla. Under you live with that. So are you ready to spin the snub cube, Amaya? Yes. Spin the snub cube. Spin the that, that Good. Snub. That's close enough. Look at spinning. Oh, it stopped on F. And F translates into Fibbin Puppets. So in this game, Rocco is going to tell you three statements, okay? And for each one of those statements, statement is true or if it's a lie, okay? And you win so long as you don't get them all wrong, okay? Does that, does that sound yeah. good? Any questions? Okay, Rocco, take it away with statement number one. Okay. At Raccoon Ranch, where I live, I am chair of the Trash Night Committee. It's my job to make sure all my friends are organized on Trash Night, which is a... <laughs> all right, so Amaya, what do you think? Was, the, was that a true statement or a false statement? False. False? Okay, why do you think it's false? You can take a guess. Raccoons can not be organized. Oh, you're right. That's absolutely what? right. Raccoons cannot be organized. <laughs> that's exactly right. That's, that's literally exactly the answer. Wow. You read the script. That's pretty good. <laughs> nice job, Amaya. All right. Ready for statement number two? Here we go. You know that we all love to wash our food on trash night, but uh, last night I got something really fluffy and sweet, and when I went to wash it, all right, what do you think, Amaya? Is that a true statement or a false statement? Why do you think it's true? Because that... Oh, okay, well, that's a good guess. What do you think? Was that true? Was that true statement or a false statement, Rocco? It disappeared because it was cotton candy. Oh, there we oh. go. We tried to wash the cotton candy. All right. Well, that was a good guess. You're doing fine. You already got one right, so you're winning. Let's see if we can get on to the last statement. Take it away with statement number three, Rocco. Okay, uh, when I got here, I got pretty upset. I didn't know what to do, so I decided to do a little yoga because that always centers me. All right, what do you think, Amaya? Is it true? Did Rocco do yoga? What no. Do you think? No? You think it's false? Yeah. 
And what do you say, Rocco? Is that true or false? He's right. It's false. I, I actually prefer Pilates. To oh, <laughs> who doesn't? That's excellent. Way to go, Amaya. You've got two out of three, right? That's amazing. You earned some points. And Johnny, tell her what she's won. Well, Herschel, both contestants win a patented memory doubler. Double your memories and double the deja vu with the memory doubler from Charlton Obvious Scams. We'll be right back for more Snub Cube after this. Welcome back to Snub Cube, where Shayla and or Amaya have a commanding lead heading into the final roll. Take it away, Hershey. All right, thank you, Johnny. Here we are back on set, and now look at it. We got the kids of this just all up. Anyway, here we are. We got two kids now. There's both of them sitting there, and it's time for our final of the snub cube. Are you two ready to roll? Yes. Yeah. Say it. Roll that snub cube. All right, here it goes. And it stopped on T, and T translates into. A thick tetrahedron. Very nice job. Okay, so here's how this game works. Your topic is music and musicals. Here we. So here's the board. If you can get all six in 90 seconds, then you win our grand prize. All right, girls, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Rocco, are you ready? Ready. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. Okay, uh, uh, this movie is about a princess. She's got blonde hair. She loses her shoe with the ball. Uh, and Cinderella. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, this uh, singer, she uh, sings country songs, but also pop songs. Uh, she is blonde, and she wrote a song called Shake It Off. Taylor Swift. Yes, very good. Okay, um, um, this singer, she has a huge ponytail, and um, she wrote... Uh, she wrote a song about manners, I think it was called Ariana Grande. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. And um, this musical is about um, newsboys and newspapers. Please. Um, yes, very good, very good. Okay, uh, this is uh, singing, but uh, oh, this is all bellows. It's uh, people singing really loud, like, oh! And concerts, and um, hmm, this, one, this one's kind of tough. It starts with an opera. <laughs> Yes, very good. Oh, that's very good. Okay, the last one. This uh, is uh, another Disney star. It was in Wizards of Waverly Place a long time ago, but now... Yes, very good. That's it, you did it. You won the grand prize. That's amazing. Johnny, tell them what they won. Well, in addition to that amazing 5,300-point jackpot... Both contestants will take home a sample pack of Charlena Jurassic Chow, now available in Tropic Flavor. Yes, please, please sample them. Sample the sample packs. I meant to order Artipilla Flavor Rhinoceraph Chow. What a blurks them under. Anyway, thank you to our contestants. Thank you to my wonderful announcer, Johnny P. And thank you to watching Snub Cube, everybody. Johnny P, take us out. Snub Cube is in Ann Arbor District Library. Hirsch, Phil Napstein, Mark Goodson, Internet Production. Filmed in front of a fake studio audience at OBS Television City. If human child and would like to appear on Snub Cube, just send a stamp self addressed email snubcube at aadl.org and tell us why you want to roll that Snub Cube!